All right, everyone, we are going to demonstrate how to use Hemolog 7525. So what is 7525 means? There are actually two insulins in this one pen. One is an intermediate acting insulin and the other is a fast acting insulin. So 75% is insulin lisproprotamine. This generally gives you around 8 to 10 hours of insulin coverage as a basal insulin. The 25% is insulin lispro, which is a fast-acting insulin. The action starts at 15 minutes and the overall action disappears in 3 to 4 hours. So you have um, two insulin mixed together. That is not one of my favorite insulins just because it is a mixed insulin and you cannot adjust um, the long-acting or intermediate-acting insulin and short-acting insulin independently and that sometimes create difficulty in the management. However, sometimes your insurance will dictate that. Sometimes um, for different reasons physicians will prescribe this and it is still good to know how to take this medication. Typically it's recommended uh, right before you take uh, you eat your meals and it's generally work, it generally works 10 to 15 minutes after the injection so you should consider that before you inject. So this is a typical insulin pen. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, somewhat cloudy, uh, a little different than the typical insulins that look clear. Uh, so don't uh, get confused about that uh, because normally you should not be seeing uh, your insulin cloudy. So if you're, for example, Lantus uh, or any other long-acting insulin is cloudy, uh, you should not be using that insulin. However, with that insulin being cloudy is completely normal because of the mixture. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm assuming that your skin is clean, you can use an alcohol swab or if you're after the shower, as long as your skin is clean, it is okay, it doesn't have to be sterile. This is the areas that you can actually inject, it could be your um, side of your thighs, it could be around your abdomen, make sure you do not inject around your umbilicus, at least two inches away from the umbilicus is recommended, and the back of the arm and the upper buttock area is could perfectly okay. Now I'm going to consider this is your abdomen and this is your pen needle. So you have to remove this seal and then simply screw that onto your pen just like this and then you will remove the first cap and then you will see another cap. You have to remove that before you inject. So this is a very tiny four millimeter needle which is all you need. You do not need eight millimeter, ten millimeter needles. You don't have to go deep as long as you go right on your skin, that's all you need. So let's say your physician prescribed 10 units. So like in any other pen, you need to prime your pen because every time you put a new needle, there will be some air in the pen, in, in, the, in the whole mechanism here. So you need to make sure that actually you get rid of that. So one or two units and then you can just push that until you see a little drop. So when, sometimes when you use the pen the very first time, uh, you may need a little bit more. So I'm going to do another two units. As you can see here, there's a little drop. Now you're ready. Let's say you need 10 units of insulin. And you just dial that up. And directly go into the skin 90 degrees just like this. And push the plunger. And then wait around 5 to 10 seconds to make sure the complete delivery is uh, accomplished and then you take that back and all you have to do unscrew that needle put in a safe container and then you are back to zero now remember this is a mixed insulin as a result you cannot really use this pen more than 10 days in the room temperature uh, and once you start using the pen you take the outside the refrigerator and you can keep it in the room temperature up to 10 days after days you have to discard that. If you do not discard, uh, the insulin may not be good anymore. Uh, however, the ones that you're not using, they can stay in the refrigerator until the expiration date. Now, thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day.